Hello everyone, a beer guy back and I am doing another unboxing today. This time we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Eagle Moss, Hero Collector Series, Star Trek, USS Enterprise, NCC-1701D Buildup. I am super, super excited about this. This is the Enterprise Starship from the Next Generation series, which is my personal favorite. I'm a big fan of Picard and Riker and the rest of the gang, and I just love that series to death. And so when I found out that Eagle Moss was doing a buildup of that particular Enterprise, it blew my mind and I was overjoyed. So um, here we have is the build, if you can tell right here, it says build one. And so let me go ahead and explain what their buildups are. Uh, they basically do these very, very intricate uh, models of pop culture figures and stuff. I believe the previous ones that they've done, they've done an Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. And I believe they've done one for the DeLorean from uh, the Back to the Future as well. And uh, they're really, really nice. They're very large. They basically usually range anywhere between like a foot to two feet in length. And they're a large model that basically takes, uh, you know, about two to three years to build. And what I mean by that is it's basically a subscription service and they send you parts uh, every month and you basically put the parts together using an instruction guide and they send you like a, a couple other pieces of, you know, like merchandise to like read up about uh, the product in detail. And uh, so for those of you that are not in the know, this is meant to be a metal die cast replica with a completely detachable saucer. It's supposed to have working lights, and as they've stated, this is supposed to actually, once it's all built and ready to go, supposed to be over uh, 27 inches long, which is going to be pretty crazy. That's over two feet. I'm very, very excited because there's not a lot of Enterprise intricate, or I'm sorry, there's not a lot of intricate Star Trek models out there for display. I kind of like to collect uh, large-scale statues and whatnot, and um, I, the, Star Trek is just a piece that's been missing from my collection, so I was very, very overjoyed that they... Uh, started this so anyway without further ado i have the box right here i have not looked at anything on what's inside so we're going to see it together so if you're hopefully you're just as excited as i am you're hopefully a big star trek fan and if you are on the fence about whether you want to purchase this this video might be a good way for you to see what exactly comes in a monthly box and see whether it's right for you uh, what i'll try to do is uh, have a link in the description of this video so that you can go check it out yourself afterward and see if it's right for you Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. So here we are, we're opening it up. Again, I have not seen this, so we're going to take a look at it firsthand. I'm going to go ahead and take off the papers, and I think that's the invoice, so I will just leave that off to the side. No need for you to see that. Okay. So as we can see, we have our first build kit right here. And as I was saying, it comes with all of the tools and uh, components necessary to put it together. Now, as you can see, this is not an easy, necessarily easy, easy to build. I, don't, I know they state it as easy to build, but it is very intricate and it will take time. So you do have to kind of go through and uh, make sure all the pieces are marked. It looks like they have screwdrivers and uh, electrical cables and everything attached there. That looks very cool. I'm very excited. Very nice. So that's the first one. And then here's a uh, build part number two. So this looks like it's one of the nacelles. I could be wrong, but that looks almost exactly like it. So that's pretty neat. Now that's the nacelle that I'm wondering. I wonder if this then, hmm. Okay, so this is the nacelle I'm betting. And then this must be just the base of the ship, probably the bottom where it probably attaches to the um, the model's base. So that makes sense, actually. And then this is probably just something we can set aside for now. All right, very, very cool. Very neat. And what else do we have here? Oh, cool, okay. Uh, so I forgot to explain. This was on pre-order uh, starting in December. And basically for anyone that pre-ordered, they basically got um, a exclusive collector's edition set of pins. And so these are the two pins that kind of come with them. So very neat. Let me, I'll see if I can open that up in a second. But I see one last thing in here that I want to take a look at. 
Okay, so this is kind of like the mini magazine and guide. Um, so what this is kind of is, this is basically an instruction book. I mean, there's nothing too crazy about it, but what they do is they also kind of give you details about the Enterprise in general and about the TV series and show. And so you kind of get to learn uh, things about the the show and the ship, how it was built, how the models um, in the show were built. I want to say this one is, there were actually three or four models of the Enterprise D uh, used in the show and I believe this is the fourth one. It's based off of the fourth one. So uh, we'll see how this turns out Very very cool. Let's go and open up the pins just to show you guys real fast. Oh No, it's uh, it's it's snapshot. Give me one second Okay, sorry about that. I had to go run and uh, <laughs> grab a pair of scissors to open up the seal right here because I couldn't show it to you um, There you go very nice There's the Enterprise. Very cool. And let's go ahead and take a look at the magazine real quick as well, just so you can kind of see the details of it. Now, I believe they do have a digital copy of that first magazine if you want to see it. Um, but I thought I'd show it to you in person here as well. Okay, so I just opened it up and actually there's a couple different pieces to this. So let me go and show off each of them as best as I can here. Um, this looks like it's just an introduction to the model. Uh, yeah, okay, so this is kind of like a um, information pamphlet, so this kind of shows you everything about it. So, okay, so they've officially stated right there it's supposed to be a 27.5 inch die cast replica. Um, that's going to be amazing. Yeah, that looks very, very cool. Illuminated windows and everything, I believe I mentioned that. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to yeah see how this goes. Now they are the, everything is uh, pre-painted and everything. I think they have stickers and decals and whatnot for each of the little pieces. Um, so we'll get to see how it is. Now I know there were some criticism and complaints over the base model that they showed that it looks kind of plastic and kind of flimsy. Um, I decided to kind of go for it anyway, just because I'm a fan and just because I don't have anything else from Star Trek really as a as a. Um, um, showcase piece as I do for like my DC stuff so I just thought okay I'll, I'll just I'll plunge in and give it a shot see what it looks like and worst comes to worst if it's not um, if it's not great I'll just give you an honest review I'll show each of the pieces as, I, as we go through them so anyway that's everything right here very cool and that's I believe like a mock-up of what it's supposed to look like at the end now let's keep in mind this is a mock-up so we'll see what the actual pieces look like as we build it Okay, then we have, this is probably the actual instructional guide and uh, information, yep. So this shows you how each of the pieces are built and it gives you, you know, some information um, about the Enterprise D and, um, you know, like life aboard it, um, you know, just little nerd facts and whatnot that um, I would be, I'd be, I would love to just read about all the history and stuff of it. So that's pretty cool right there. That's neat. Very, very neat. Yeah, that's incredible. Cool. So, um, what I'm going to do from here is, oh, you know what, I'm sorry, I forgot the last thing here. This looks like it's going to be a poster of some kind. Yeah, definitely. Let me see if I can carefully open this. Okay, uh, I'll probably hold it in this half length. So um, yeah, it's a it's a giant sized poster, which is very very nice. I might try to flatten this out and see if I can um, hang it up. Very nice, very neat. Oh, so this is a life size photography. Okay, so the model is actually going to be this long. So this is actually the the measurements of it. Sorry, I can't get a good photo of it. I'm sorry, a good visual of it in here. But um, so this is actually what the model's uh, dimensions are and what it's going to look like. As you can tell, it's pretty big. Um, it's hard to get a scope. But what I'll try to do is I'll try to take a picture and maybe upload it later. But it shows you that they're right there. Like it's 50 centimeters wide and this is the exact um, approximation of it. 
So very cool. Now what I'm going to do, so that's the unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. I will provide a link down below. What I'm also going to probably do is do a build of it as well. Maybe do like a, um, a time lapse of build and then probably talk about the process and how easy or hard it was. And, um, you know, um, what it entailed because I'm actually a complete beginner so I can kind of give you like a beginner's perspective on this maybe I can't give you all the exact details but um, I can I at least tell you from my perspective how easy or hard it was um, how much effort it took and whether it was an enjoyable process or not or whether the, pro the parts feel you know cheap or flimsy or not so um, I hope you guys enjoy the video hope you guys liked it if you are interested definitely um, like and subscribe because I will try to basically do a playlist so I'll have one for unboxings each month and then I'll probably try to do a build video as well and then uh, maybe either review encapsulate into that or do a separate review and like a progress so far anyway um, hope you guys enjoy the video take care and have a good one now bye